Tonight, parents across the Central Coast starting to go out for their back to school shopping supplies. But this year, things looking very different than in past years. And of course, all schools across the Central Coast going with distance learning. And our KION's Drew Andre joining us now live with a school supply list in SoCal and what they're recommending to approach the new school year. Well, Veronica, as you know, a lot of parents are still waiting to hear from their teachers about what kind of supplies they may need to help their students learn at home. Wonderland here says they have a lot of that stuff that can be helpful, especially for young kids without even having to get on a computer. Here. This week is typically yeah. when Wonderland holds a special event for teachers to stock up their classrooms for the school year. Now the week-long sale and giveaway is geared more towards parents. We're calling it back to home school love week <laughs> and it's basically for everyone, teachers, parents, everyone who is looking towards the next month and going, how am I going to do this homeschool thing, which is really all of us. Stubblefield says the usual supplies like pencils and markers will be needed, but certain projects for kids will likely become even more popular for at-home learning. So we have lots of great art projects and science projects, hands-on manipulatives for math and all kinds of things that'll be especially useful for younger students. Not only am I mom, but I'm going to have to be teacher mom. Sarah Castillo's son with special needs is heading into second grade at Rio Del Mar Elementary. They already struggled through a spring of distance learning. It was rough. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The County Office of Education says they're getting even more Chromebooks. That way, every student will have one. Castillo says her son got to keep his over the summer and will continue using it in the fall. That's really helping a lot. The school district computers have access to all the online learning resources. The length of learning from home will be shorter than normal. First through third graders, just under four hours, and four hours total recommended for fourth graders through high school, down from a six-hour school day. If we can all be in this together, we can find creative ways to do this. You know, I think we're going to rise to meet this challenge. And there will be daily live interaction between students and teachers on those Chromebooks. Santa Cruz County Schools will be giving out more parent education geared towards helping your kid uh, work from home. We're live in SoCal tonight. I'm Drew Andre, KI1 News, Channel 546.